Hi, welcome to the channel. And today we are going to be do unboxing and installing on my wonderful Gladiator the Rough Country uh, Performance Catback Exhaust. So, nothing left to do but to do it. Uh, let's see what we get. Keep in mind throughout this that I spent my money on this and am in no way shape or form affiliated with Rough Country. I just happen to like their stuff most of the time. Alright, so for now we're just going to lay it out and once we get it all out of the box we'll see what order it goes in. Testing, testing. Yep. This is a lot more than I thought it would be. And it was nice of them to put little foam deals on the exhaust hangers because typically when you get exhaust they poke through the side of the box and your box is crap by the time you get it. That's the wrong direction for that. Oh, we got every man's favorite thing. We got destructions and a sticker. Eh, we'll put them in there. We'll look at them never. So this one, unlike most of the ones on the market, instead of coming out the rear end under your bumper, these actually cut out. I believe it's... Uh, right behind the wheel. I could be mistaken. It may be in front, that'd be nice. But behind it would be better for off-roading and whatnot. We ain't gonna smash it going onto our rock. We'll just smash it when we come off, you know? Better late than never. Uh, looks like we got our Y pipe. Oh yeah, mandrel bins. Let's look at this real quick. Since I've been practicing welding and I suck, let's see how someone who kind of knows what they're doing is doing. Not too bad. You can see where they finished up the weld there. But uh, all in all, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see down in there, but even their cuts to make it look pretty decent. A little stuff in there that might cause a little turbulence, but let's be honest, the louder the better. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a uh, relocation for one of the exhaust hangers over the stock. So, eh, we'll figure it out. Worst case scenario, we'll go back to destructions. Oh, before we get to the good stuff, we got a whole assembly of clamps. So, you know, it's good for the average do-it-yourselfer. Don't have to know how to weld. You can just take stuff apart and some simple hand tools and you can put it together in the driveway in an afternoon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at that. Inlet. I guess it goes this way. Well, okay. they even got it idiot proof. I mean, that one don't say out, but maybe that's what those numbers mean. But to be honest, looking at it, looks like the Flowmaster uh, 40 series. Just cheaper. All right, 
but it looks good. The welds are good. Don't see anything concerning. And it's honestly the first package I've gotten in a while that the box wasn't just completely destroyed. Go FedEx! All right. What could it be? things are massive. Uh-oh. I'm gonna lose hardware. Good thing I've become that old man my dad always told me I would be. And I got a bolt bin full of crap. Drop that in there. I mean, come on. I can get my arm in there. Oh, it has a little dent. Sucker, you're gonna get more. Cause let's be honest, I drive my truck like I stole it. Put that over there. I think we got hose though. We only got one sticker. Come on, rough country, up your game. We gotta have stickers for toolboxes and everything else besides putting them on our vehicle. I got stickers on everything. I got stickers of stuff I don't even own. I just lifts I put on or help put on and other stuff. The coating on this one's a little rough, or maybe they spilt someone in, something in it. it. Does kind of look like the tree of life in there. You can see it right there if you're into the Norris stuff this one yeah this exhaust pipe is a little bit has a few more imperfections in it than the other but it's gonna be fun so we're gonna take a break and we'll come back to you here in a little bit and we'll look underneath and see what we got to do and then we'll rip that old quiet nasty crap out and we'll put in the good stuff all right so we'll see you in a minute Welcome back guys it is actually the next day we ended up having football games and t-ball practice that caught up to us a little quicker than we was expecting so where we left off was we showed you all the parts after the unboxing and these are the general tools we believe we're going to need we know we're going to have to cut the muffler off on the stock exhaust in order to get it out of there and we're gonna need the uh, half inch drive number 15 millimeter uh, socket in order to disconnect the uh, existing tailpipe from the catalytic converter. Uh, I got my favorite tools, Ryobi. Hate all you want. Uh, we're gonna use the big impact as much as we can and then we'll use the uh, 3H drive ratchet with 10 millimeters in order to put on the tips. We got some good old WD-40 to loosen up the uh, nuts. No, it's the uh, exhaust hanger rubber. Because anybody who's ever changed an exhaust, new or old, you know them things suck. So a little lubrication goes a long way, right? All right, uh, we are going to crawl under here, show you where everything is, and then set you up on time lapse as we rip it out of there and get ready to go in with the new. Okay, so right here's the joint that uh, you're gonna disconnect from. This is your furthest, fo furthest forward point where you'll start attaching the new. You'll reuse this clamp. Then we're gonna come all the way back here. Um, 
after the muffler and just before it crosses over the axle we're going to take the sawzall or reciprocating saw whatever you'd like to call it and cut it off clean and then this will drop out and we will get it all out and start putting in the new so we'll set you up on time lapse for that and we'll come back to you when we get ready to reinstall to be reused um but that's it okay so don't break that one no don't break that one Unless it makes you extra mad. And then break away. And the only part you actually need is this. Because the new muffler doesn't have this lock. We just have to bypass the lock and not being able to see it doesn't make it any better. Okay, so we've got the old one out. Um, you can see you got to reuse this clamp here which is no big deal however it is not a 15 millimeter at least not on the gladiator it is a 13 so don't let them lie to you maybe the new ones are 15s we'll see um i did however have to make an additional cut because i'm an idiot and i didn't cut back far enough for this last uh exhaust hanger here to be able to come out um, after the cut. So you have one on the very back where your stock pipe is and it runs in the opposite direction. And they, with where I cut at, it was fighting against one another. So when you do this at home, don't be like me, uh, cut behind the exhaust, that uh, last exhaust hanger before it crosses the axle. It'll make your life easier. You won't have to cut twice. So now we're gonna take parts from over there that we got laid out and start putting them on one by one until we're done and we can get the joy of hearing the new exhaust. So here we go. So, whether, I don't know who did it, <clears throat> more than likely me, but when you put this in here, or attempt to, this edge or that edge, whichever one, mostly this one, it's curled in just a shade too far. So all we got to do, which isn't a big deal, grab a hold of it, give them both a little love, your clamp. We'll tighten it back up, not a big deal. I don't know where. So you need what? Uh, I need the instructions. Okay, we'll get them. Okay, so now we have the main pipe loosely installed so we can fudge it around to get it exactly the way I want it for what I plan on using my truck for I want to tuck it up as tight as I possibly can so I don't break it because I'm good at breaking things um, once we get that done we'll jump to the back and we'll get the uh, massive tips that they sent with it on and then we can get us a cold start so let's get that done and so we can hear it. I just have to find my sock. Okay, so I went ahead and stuck the bolt in this just to make things easier for me. I'm going to slide them both on and adjust them back and forth and rotate and all that to get the look I like before I tighten it down. Once I get them where I want them, we'll snug the crap out of them and we'll get it started. All right, here we go. 
yeah here's just the beginning of the pile of bolts he was talking about before yep now we get to play find two bolts that look the same because he done pulled them off because he took off the bracket when he put on these lovely fenders no. all right so we're getting the bracket on this is the additional bracket for the hanger out the passenger side note to self put the hanger on first before you put the hanger, hanger bolts up. in yeah because now we're doing it twice I think maybe shoving them all the way in is going to be good. That mount seems pretty sturdy, so I ain't got to worry about this. But, I mean, I got a knuckles worth on it. Make sure RC is pretty well parallel to the ground. All right, let's get that other one on and see what it looks like. Okay, so we got everything in. We got the tips where we like them. Now for the payoff. We're going to do the first cold start. I haven't started this truck all day. So let's start her up and see what she sounds like. sounds really good it don't have that loud loud drone inside and as you can tell I'm open air for the most part right now so with the top on it's really not going to be an issue um, for $499.99 it's not a bad exhaust it's got a nice tone it's not as loud as some you know it's not an it's an everyday driver that's the type of exhaust you're looking at you're not looking at a rock crawler style where it's basically a glass pack with a turndown kind of like that Jeep has that uh, is loud as all get out. But the driver is also 16 years old and well, yeah. But that is going to wrap us up for this project. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully you'll come back for the next one. See y'all later. Hey!